Do you find it difficult to forgive others? Are you currently holding on to bitterness, resentment, or past trauma? If you want to free yourself from other people's offense so that you can live a joyful and fulfilling life, this video is for you. These are the three biggest misconceptions about forgiveness. Number one, forgiveness is for the offender. Number two, forgiveness gives validity to the offense. And number three, forgiveness is weakness. However, forgiveness is quite the opposite. Forgiveness is for you. It releases the offender of their debt to free up your future. Forgiveness is a sign of mental strength. I read a quote that says, not forgiving someone is like drinking poison and then expecting the offender to get sick. Today, I'm going to be covering five Bible verses on forgiveness. Let's get into it. The first scripture that we will be reading is Proverbs 17, nine, and it goes like this. Love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. This scripture is telling us that love can overcome a past wrongdoing and bridge an estranged relationship. If there is a past situation that separated you from a close friend, I encourage you to look back at the scripture and understand that love prospers when a fault is forgiven. The second scripture that we will be covering is Colossians 3.13, and it goes like this. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. The scripture is telling us that as Christians, it is important that we have patience for one another, especially during difficult situations. We must also remember that because God forgave us, we must also forgive others. This is of course a challenge for most of us. It's so difficult to forgive others, especially if they hurt us deeply. But I love this scripture because it's a reminder that God has forgiven us so many times and so we must give other people that same grace and forgiveness and love that God shows us. Living your life Christ-like is about understanding the scripture and then implementing the things that Jesus did and that God is calling us to do into our day-to-day -day life. The third scripture is Matthew 6 14 and it goes like this, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. I love the scripture because it's very straight to the point. It points out that forgiveness results in forgiveness. And because God forgave us, like we just discussed in the last verse, we must also forgive others. Moving on to scripture number four, we are going to be reading Luke 6, 37, and it goes like this. Do not judge others and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others or it will all come back against you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. This is probably one of the most toughest scriptures to take in because we all know that as human beings, it's so easy to judge others. We see this all day long, especially online, of people condemning others for their wrongdoings, yet not recognizing that they are sinners too. They have been at fault for many things. And so this is a reminder that we should not condemn. We should not point faults, but rather we need to pay attention to the scripture because it is doing a great example of teaching us that Jesus showed his followers how to imitate God by displaying sacrificial love. And we too, as Christians, must do the same. And our final scripture for today is Mark eleven twenty five, 25, and it goes like this. But when you are praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your father in heaven will forgive your sins too. The context of this scripture goes back to early in Mark 11 when Peter pointed out a fig tree that Jesus had cursed is now withered. Jesus' response was, have faith in God. If you say to this mountain, lift and be thrown into the sea, if you have faith and believe it will happen, it will. Whatever you pray for, believe that you'll receive it and it will be done. Therefore, Mark eleven twenty five 25 is reminding us that first, if we have anything against anyone, we must forgive them so that God can forgive us too. Thank you so much for joining today and I hope you enjoyed this short Bible study on forgiveness. And if you are loving this series, be sure to subscribe and go ahead and click the next video to continue on with the series.